Hello and welcome back to the Bold Bavarians. So, we are significantly in debt. It's a minor problem, it'll go away over time, but that's kind of our big thing that we want to fix immediately. The other thing that we want to fix is all of these little people in here. We're going to need to declare a lot of wars and take over a lot of the land. Um, it does kind of look a little bit better now that Lotharengia is gone because, you know, they're the same colour as us in the middle here. So if you squint your eyes, it looks like we're one empire, but I'd prefer if our name stretched across. I think that would make me happy. So we're going to do that. The other thing that we should do is, with new Lotharengia, we should convert them to our religion. It was pointed out that we could do it, and is very easy. So let's do it. There is a reason not to do it, by the way. If we were to look into our election here, uh, currently people are not voting for him because he's Catholic. Well, that's one of the many reasons. Like, if we have a look at our people, every single one of these guys is insular. So they, for one of the reasons for voting for my heir, is that he is also an insular Christian. So that all lines up. If we convert this guy, he would then be a better target for them, potentially. I don't think he's going to be, but potentially it could happen. But I'm going to convert him anyway. It's also going to make him dislike us more temporarily as well. We're going to lose 5 opinion here, while uh, if we command conversion, he's going to lose 10 opinion of us. However, even though he's going to lose 10 opinion of us, um, that will burn off after less than five years, and then our heir will have a better chance because our heir will no longer have the minus five. They'll just have, well, a flat zero. So, uh, I'm going to use the hook, which will force him to, uh, well, I mean, he accepts either way. Does this? It says he might ask for something in return either way, so I guess we'll just demand his conversion without the hook. Cool. Um, is there any other vassal that we want to convert? You know what would be an easier way to do it? Uh, let's look in our hooks. And just have a look. See, do we have anybody who is an insular Christian? Uh, nobody else is landed. Well, that would do it. And then we could go in here, go to vassals, and then just kind of scroll down. So you're Catholic. We can't demand your conversion because we, uh, you've got the thing that says that we can't do it. You're Catholic. We could demand your conversion, but you would probably say no, unless we can improve your opinion of us. That's unlikely to happen. Salzburg is uh, an Adamite. Okay. I'm just seeing what else we got here. Uh, I'm looking for a high opinion, actually. High opinion, can we convert him? It's not the easiest menu to use. In fact, you can see us slowly slipping down the side here. I guess I should check these guys as well. Insular Catholic? Yeah, you'd convert. Yeah, let's do that. You? Uh, you'd convert. Definitely. You would convert as well. There we go. Next one. Uh, it's close, but I think you'll convert. Frisia? That's a conversion. Durangia? Uh, cannot convert because he's my religion. Yup, that'll do it. This guy? Eh, 70% still pretty good. You uh, are my religion, so why would you convert? You are Catholic, okay. 100%, wonderful. You? Yeah, we'll convert. It was suggested that we could spend generations uh, educating these people, but I'm much happier just right-clicking. It works for me. Uh, let's do this. 79%, sure. That'll work. You're already insular Christian. Uh, you don't like us. You're going to say no. Just feeling like if we convert a ton of people, it will kind of spread out over time anyway, once we uh, get a few more of these done. Yeah, oh, and they are my uh, city and my um, barony vassals, so you can't do anything to them anyway. And they are my, religi my religion anyway. That's fine. Right. Let's unpause, go to speed 5, and let's get some money. Greetings, my amicable liege. Uh, you have converted. Wonderful. You have also converted. No issues. My faith is too strong to be swayed by your earthly words. I would rather attain my reward in heaven. Oh, all right. Well, fine. Hey, another conversion. Another conversion. There's another conversion. Uh, this one is the same. He said no. Uh, there's a conversion. Okay. That's not bad. Whole bunch of conversions. Nobody's asked for anything yet. Perfect. So we got a bunch of people who converted, which should hopefully help out with a few of the issues we were having. Now, we do have a Liberty faction with this person in it. There's pretty much nothing I can do for you, but, you know, at some point I'd love to. 
Hmm. We also need to gain some piety so I can change our religion at some point, but I think that's probably a next character type of deal. Um, okay. Kaiser and Lutzwin's contributions towards Lampert's education cannot go unmentioned. Her lessons have given Lampert a valuable, a valuable knowledge for his future life. Ooh, nice. Okay. Well, uh, let's get you married. Lantpert, look for an alliance. Bohemia, that's a good alliance. Yeah, we'll send a Bohemian one through. That's fine. Yeah, although I think we already had one, but having two doesn't hurt. Um, daughter-in-law is to give him birth to a son. So that's my son and brother-in-law. Oh, because he's married. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's using the wrong stuff, but that's all right. Um, he's not my heir. That's all that matters. He can be called Jacob. Right. Uh, we're almost out of debt, which is fantastic. People will stop hating us then. My counselor died, so that was Lutitia. Okay. Uh, Steermark can go in there now. Yeah, he's the best. I'll assign him. Oh, he actually really likes us now. You want to convert? Fantastic. He converted. That's what I like to see. Hey, we're almost up there in terms of money. And... Lots of neighboring rulers lost in one wars. None of the which really matters to us. Uh, well, apart from this one. War against the tyranny of King Ing, who has now um, been deposed, which, you know, is fine. Who's now in charge? It's now this person. King Ing to Ing Ingson. That's, that's a difficult one to say. Anyway, so be it. The comfort of a friend. There are a few things I enjoy more than Stefan's company. He dragged me around to one activity after another, and the high pace truly helped keep my mind off my troubles. After this short break, I was once again ready to take on my duties. I'm lucky to have a friend like Stefan. Yes, um... Oh, we have a new marshal, do we? Alright, sure. Oh, is that because uh, her contract says that she has council rights? Yeah, get rid of that. Um, what are we going to give her instead? We have to give her something else, or she's going to be very unhappy at us. Uh, so she's allowed to declare wars. She currently has coinage rights. Okay. Um, fortification? Yeah, I guess that's fine. Uh, it does increase my castle building's construction costs, though. I don't really like that. Give her a special contract if we wanted to. Um... Yeah, I don't know. How much tax does she give? She's currently giving us zero tax. We could get rid of one of these and then... Yeah, what's this? Plat... Alright, let's see. Now, subject to Scottish contract, uh, the vassal will pay 50% more tax than what their feudal... Oh, I want to read March, actually. Well, subject to March, vassal will receive bonus to levies and defensive capabilities provide 50% less tax. They don't provide any tax. Sure, I'm going to make you... Oh, that doesn't actually do anything. Okay. That, that's not bad or good. Okay. Uh, so we can ignore that. I guess... Yeah, I'll make you protected from title revocation instead. Sure. I really just don't want that one passing down. I mean, there's not a lot we can do there, but... Yeah, we shouldn't have that passing down. I mean, she's pretty good at the job. Don't get me wrong. This just means another vassal's been hacked off, though. Um, yeah, sure. Anything else we can do here? Powerful vassals expect council positions. So Lowitz would want one. So they would have to have this one, but this guy's got it. Salzburg? Salzburg. Um, it, there's nothing that they can do that they're better at any, than anyone else. Although you're not a powerful vassal, but I think you um, bribed your way. A Bohemia. Yeah. Okay. Can I replace you yet? Cannot be fired until... Or for another 19 years? Okay, so he's just there. Okay, nothing we can do about that. Hey, we're no longer in debt. Fantastic. Now we can declare 17 wars, as the game said. Okay. Just chill. Um, places are converting culture. None of that really matters to us. Right. Hopefully some of my vassals are declaring on these people in the center as well. That would be ideal. Grand right? Let's do it. Yeah. An uninvited guest, the more the merrier. Uh, I'm going to use the tricks with sounds and shadows again. Ooh, okay, never mind. So previously I thought it was the one that you chose that chose what your, um, like what trait you got. It must just be random. Yeah, so we got a stewardship lifestyle trait, which is interesting. Grand right, until next time. We're now done with that. 
Um, now, I don't know if we need that much more in terms of stewardship. We could move down architect. It might be time to change, though. Yeah, it might be time to just change what we're doing entirely. We're kind of in a little bit of an odd spot here in terms of this. We don't really need the income, so I guess so. If we plan on doing more building, this could help quite a lot. Um, definitely. This would also help quite a lot. Uh, golden obligations would get us a ton of money, which might help with building even more, to be honest with you. Let's get golden obligations and then switch ourselves off. Now, we've done a little bit of this, but I don't think we need any more of this. We're as far as we need to go. Could go whole a body and try and live. How old are we right now? We're 48. I don't really feel like that's the right play. Uh, we could go Marshall. But I don't feel that's the right play unless we go for Bellum, ju uh, Bellum Justum. We could also go for this, try and get the extra prestige and go August. And something in here, yeah, like monthly prestige per powerful vassal, prestige per knight, prestige per dread. Like this seems like this could be quite useful. True ruler as well. Yeah, I'm going to take this, go majesty focus. It's going to be pretty slow, but, you know, I think that's fine. Our diplomacy is absolutely terrible. But maybe we'll get random things to make it go quicker. We demand payments from Lotharengia. That's pretty good, yeah. I think we'll take it, yeah. That sounds very useful. And from this guy, I'll, t I'll definitely take 50 from you. Yeah, they paid off their weak hooks. And now we can do an activity, right? No, we can't because we're already at an activity. Need to wait for the, um, the grand right to end. There we go, let's see. Has the grand right ended? It has, wonderful. Uh, I want to host a feast. Which lowers our stress, which is really nice, and will also make people like us. Although the hunt is the one that gets us the prestige. I said I should do hunt first. Let's do hunt first. See how this goes. Lots of factions against us, but we don't need to worry about any of them too much. The spear lies perfectly balanced in my hands as I judge the distance of the hair. My vassal is crouching next to me, hefting his own spear. I will bring it down. My last chance. Ulak has decided that her time in Falkenstein has come to an end. The servants have packed her chest and she has said her farewells. Um, with her goes her claim on the petty kingdom of Meath. Meath. Okay, so where is... So you actually have a couple of cl claims on these things. So these are just a couple of uh, duchies up here. Oh, so that'd be on the whole thing, right? Petty kingdom is a duchy. So we could potentially declare for a duchy if we wanted some Irish land. You're allied with Flanders, so you only have 5,000 troops overall. Do we want to do this within the next year? I mean, it's not a bad option. It's absolutely fine. It would cost us a ton of prestige to do. It would get us land up in Ireland, though. Hmm. It's kind of like 50-50, but... I'm just going to say see ya. To be honest, I'm not that worried about it. It's not land that we need. If we're going min-max in terms of land, maybe, but even then, we're putting a lot of effort into getting it, and there's no real payoff for us. We get meath. That's the payoff. Uh, payoff? Yeah, anyway. Uh, the hunt is drawing to an end. We mount our horses and leave the plains behind us. The servants prepare the hare and other game for the journey back. We got a little bit of prestige. And now, we got a new spy master. That's not good. Okay. Well, that means that a powerful vassal is very unhappy with us. Uh, yep. Okay, and it also means that, uh, yeah, we just have this random one that our council. Not happy about that at all, but I suppose that's what we get for the first generation uh, in charge. We had to pay off our uh, debts, basically. Right, we want to host a feast. We need a hundred, an extra 140. Does a feast really cost 260? That's crazy. Uh, to the amicable Kaiser Themo of the Holy Roman Empire, I call upon you to honor our alliance and... Join me in the Munster claim on the Duchy of Canark. Um, are you winning? Maybe? Um, I accept. Let me have a look. So you declared for a Duchy. You have more troops. She has one ally. The ally is Flanders. We could maybe help against Flanders. Uh, if Fla wait, is Flanders my vassal? Flanders is my vassal. He can't join in, right? Uh, Flanders is France's vassal. Okay, cool. So be that bit right there. Alright, well, yeah, I guess he can join in. 
Uh, we should go and beat him up. Yeah, I think that's a good contribution. It does mean that we're going to have to... Um, yeah. It does mean we're going to have to spend money on this, but that's fine. Right. Let's raise our troops. They're coming for us. They've realized this is a very bad move on their part. Uh, stop raising and come join in. That's fine. We're already doing well. Then we got the other one in there. Wonderful. Right. 5,000 go sit on their capital. 5,000 go sit there. Let's go. Um, mental break, wanton desires. Lately, I feel as though I'm being constantly distracted by levacious thoughts and erotic fantasies. Oh, with all the hardships of my everyday life, it's all too easy to lose myself in uh, lose myself in daydreams and forget about reality. These desires are clearly interfering with my life, but what should I do about them? I can convert to Kara uh, to Karaism. Okay, that's pretty drastic. Or find solitude and uh, have peace. So I lose this guy being my friend, but I do get peace. This is interesting. Do we want to convert to this faith? This would completely destroy the realm in every single way. Hmm. I, I think I'm gonna like not do that. I'm just gonna lose my friend right now. I was tempted, but it's not really within my goals. It doesn't really help us right now. Uh, right, so she's finished her stuff. She was absolutely terrible about it because I gave her the wrong educator. Let's find someone for her to marry. Uh, alliance power? You could marry into Sweden. Also marry into England? Yeah, just marry the King of England. That went so well last time. You know what? Who can you marry matrilineally? Uh, you can get republics. Nordgal. Um, yeah, so it's basically... You can marry mercenary companies, republics, and uh, your own family. That's yeah, not going to help. Uh, so instead of that, why don't we uh, get you to look for inheritable traits and we'll see what we can pass along. Yeah. How about that one? So we, we've got Robust and Herculean, and we can pass them both. Uh, like, I assume one of them will pass along. That seems like a good one. They'll be our family members. We can potentially marry in later. Doesn't seem that bad. Okay. See, seven months here. How long on this one? Five years. Oh, well, I know which ones have the, um... Yeah, I know which ones have the siege units. You know what I might do here, though? Split off new army. Can I take, like, half the trebuchets? No. Okay, well... That's not gonna work. New chancellor. That is gonna be this guy. Because he's good at the job. Cool, we'll clear that there. Continue chilling. That went really quickly. We jumped a whole year on that one. Nice. Powerful vassals. Um, you would like, you think I should get more feudal taxes from this person? Hmm, maybe. They're familial kinslayer. What do they currently pay us in, in feudal taxes? They currently pay us low. If it goes up to normal, we get 0 0.2. Uh, sure. Why not? What, what things uh, gone wrong here? So, Lotharenge has joined it. Who's the claimant? He's Catholic, interestingly. Did I not convert Lotharengia? Wait, I was sure I converted Lotharengia earlier. Did I not? Did he say no? Wait, no, I'm sure I converted him. Did he just convert back? Maybe he just paid the stuff and converted back? Maybe I'm going crazy. I'm sure I hit... Maybe I didn't hit the demand conversion button. All right. Well, I don't know. I, didn't, I almost want to go and watch the replay and go, what happened there? Anyway... Uh, you... Can't, we can't convert. Okay. That's fine. You, we can get rid of. Yeah. Hmm. Lotharengia, the problem is you're... You have nobody, um... Underneath you. Like, you have no children. We have nobody we can marry into your family with. Wait a second. Do we not have an alliance? No, there's a fat there's a family member, but not this the right family. That's not our family. Okay, that's uh as in it is our family, but it's not direct to us. Okay, that's fine. Anyone else we can get out here? Your heir is this dude? Okay. Either of you get married? No, you're all kind of betrothed. That's annoying. And get rid of Mansfeld by sticking them under Bohemia. Yeah, I might stick both of those under Bohemia. Let's grant you this guy. Okay. 
uh, which gives us some time. Mansfeld. Yeah, we'll also grant you that guy. Cool. Should help a little bit with destroying the faction. Why do you hate me? You want a seat on the council? We can find you a seat on the council, mate. Don't you worry. Uh, congratulations. You have your seat on the council. Uh, oh, I just realized what happened. All of our giving him stuff, um, all of those disappeared. Okay, so that's probably part of the problem there. All of our, hey, we're, we're, we gave you land. The, the timer just ran out on them. Um, You still hate me? Yeah, 17 months. Victory in the Duchy of Connaught. Oh, nice. Uh, we can disband. That's going to give our troops a chance to actually reinforce, which should help us in this war in this bit right here. Anything else we can do? Uh, we could buy more of these if I had some money. Let's just wait. We should get to a better point soon. You've become my chancellor. Are you freaking kidding me? Do you have a... Um, you also have council, council rights. Get rid of that. You can have title revocation. I already changed it. I probably gave him council rights. Oh, but now you hate me because you were, you're no longer on the council. And you also hate me because you were fired from the council. Okay, well... I, I don't know what to tell you. Can we make you our spy master? No, because we can't fire him. Mr. Stewart can't fire him. Marshall? Bet we can't fire her. Alright, well, I mean... Damn. Right, you. Utrecht. Do you know what? One thing we can do... Two birds, one stone. Right, you're now under Lotharangia. Lotharangia likes us better because of that. Demand conversion. He might ask for something in return. Let's see what he does. Right. He said no. Okay, fair enough. It's only him in here in 22 months. Alright. Child of my dynasty. Um, okay. We have a child named Agnes, our grandchild of something, some kind. Um, let's see here. Uh, what am I looking at? I'm just seeing... Yeah, so we have a little bit left here. So we have another 800, which should help us out a little bit here. The other nice thing, I suppose, about Bohemia forcing their way in here is that they now have to contribute more to my troop count. Yeah, because of the... Um, yes, the honor to serve, I think it is. So that they now have to contribute an extra 20%. Oh, sorry, their contribution is an extra 20%. Which is a little bit of an odd way of saying it. And that's because of their feudal contract. Yeah, so all the modifiers go off the feudal contract. Is there anybody... Is there any other powerful vassals on my council? He is the only powerful vassal on my entire council? I hate it. Okay, well, there's nothing we can do with that then. Because I was thinking maybe we could change somebody up from low to, uh, to medium and that would work. But it's not really going to work the way I want it to. Okay. Uh, what's this? We have a son named, or we have a grandson named Ritzel. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of some of those. 21 months. Okay, so. Thinking of how we can get a few extra. If I go to our, yeah, if I go to this one, Vassals, and have a look at who's contributing troops. So anybody I can still change the contract of. I could change his contract, but that's probably not going to help. How about you, Steermonk? Steermark, can I change your feudal contract? Yeah, I could get extra levies out of you. Like, a lot of extra levies. You would really not like it, but I could give you title revocation. You would just naturally just like me for that, though. Hmm, interesting. Is there anything else? I could make him a march? To give increased levy size to him? Okay. You provide 50% less tax, but we'd have an increased levy size. Which means that he would be able to give me more levies. Potentially that could work. Uh, Palatinate. Uh, increases their standing. Gives them more political clout. Uh, they increase their liege's prestige. But provide less uh, tax and levies. Oh, that's kind of intriguing. Yeah. Um, it's not what we're looking for. So anybody who's on like a low feudal. Who's giving us troops. Yeah, like you. You look like you're on a low feudal, right? No, you're normal. Okay. Let's keep going down here and seeing what we got. You're definitely on a low amount. <laughs> we can move up to a low. Means you have to provide us troops. In return, I will give you sanctioned war declaration. 
Cool. He would really hate that one. Okay, we still get the 20 opinion with him, but we get that extra um, levy amount, which I think is worth getting. Like, just getting some levies from some people seems worth it. I move you up to normal, but I'd need to do something else for you here. Hmm. There's not too much else I can do, to be honest. He already has everything. The only thing I could do is take away forced partitions. I'm not really too worried, actually. Corinthia's gone through some generations. I can get rid of forced partition now and then get the extra levies. He actually likes us better. We get an extra 400. Yeah. Let's move the levies up to normal. Let's see what we can do with that. Nordgal? Yeah, again, you're not providing me any levies. So, like, provide me levies and you can declare war. It's a very easy change, I think. Yeah, a lot of these people are providing zero levies, which is not ideal. Do that, uh, and you are allowed to declare war. Seems fine. I could lower his feud feudal taxes as well. Or, even better, there you go. Lower his feudal taxes by 0 0.4, but you get the extra levies. I'm happy with that. Okay, Colmar. Basically just going through all of these, doing the same thing, but that's okay. Uh, what? I don't even know how you would say that. Actually, you know, the second one's not as bad as when I first looked at it. That's just Peter Dotter. Uh, but, um, Hadjuin? Hadjuin, I guess? Hmm. Hey, how about you provide me any troops whatsoever, and you can declare war? Right, Slavonia? You're absolutely fine. Carry on. Bavaria? We're getting down to the points where it doesn't matter. Because they don't have any troops, but that's okay. Uh, that's fine. Uh, you, Frisia? Some of these I'm sure should have troops, but hey, whatever. Yeah, normal war declaration. Boom. That one's done. You? Uh, normal... Oh, hmm. The ones I would usually give up here. You don't really provide me any taxes. I've already changed it. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. You? You provide me normal amounts. I suspect a lot of these low ones are going to provide me normal amounts, especially the ones that have been my vassal for a while. The AI seems to like giving away things quite a lot. Yeah, I'll take some feudal levies. Thank you. <laughs> you have to contribute something. Doesn't really matter what the thing is, as long as it's something. Yeah, all of the counts are pretty much not worth looking at, I think. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So at least now we're getting some extra troops from all of these vassals, which should help us with this a little bit. Yeah, it dropped it. You could see that when it started calculating, it was like, oh yeah, we can drop a, a ton off here. We've got an extra 1.4 that we can get. That's fine, 1.4k I should say. It's not too bad. Ekbert? Uh, Ekbert, you are gonna go marry. I would love for you to marry somebody related here. How about you marry Yolanda? Sure. See, I have nobody who's eligible. I don't understand. Again, it's another... Maybe it's just an age difference. Maybe the, it just doesn't allow it at past a certain age difference. I don't know. Um, why don't you marry... I think I still have inheritable traits on, which isn't too bad. So I'm just going to scroll till I see one that I like. I mean, these are fine. Yeah. Why don't you marry a lowborn who has beautiful? Yeah. That will, that will cause no issues. Right. Unpause. Fantastic. They're going to get married. Everyone's happy. This is dropping down in strength, which is good. We have one more. Yeah, it's not quite gone yet, but that's okay. Kaiserin... Eugenia has been murdered. My dear Eugenia, I might not have loved you, yet I feel your passing more acutely than I ever thought possible. You were always there, my constant companion. They take you for granted. There are so many things left unsaid. Now, that's kind of bad, because she was really good at that. In a little stress. Now, we do have a new wife who's up there, which is Lutzwind. Who killed the previous one, by the way? Just murdered. Okay. Uh, Lutzwind is not quite as good at things. That's fine. Well, we need a new wife. Uh, I'm not really worried about inheritable traits for us. Uh, what am I worried about? Um, I'm actually not worried about that either. I'm more worried about some of all skills. 
We could marry Countess Hedwig, my vassal. It's interesting. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's a good idea. She has insane learning. Oh, sure, I'll marry my cousin. We're not going to have children. She's uh, 74 years old. Right, we'll send that one through. Is she already a witch? I don't know if she's already a witch. Eh, convert her to witchcraft anyway. We'll see. Oh, work. This one, we're still at 19 months. We need a few extra troops, but we're getting there. Right, faction targeting us as disbanded. Not the one that we needed to disband, but that's okay. Uh, and get a few more men-at-arms, and that would probably help. Maybe we'll get a different type. Um, If I wanted a different type, it has to be horseman, I think, right? Yeah, so one more tick. There we go. So I can now start getting horsemen. There we go. It took a couple of clicks, but then it started working. Right, so that's going to give us a few extra troops. And I'm basically just trying to knock this down till the point where it just disappears. We'll see. It's not quite getting there yet, but, you know, it's not that far away. We're just holding it off. This one? What was happening here? Okay, so this is Stermark, and it's Salzburg. Now, obviously, what I'd love to do is replace the people in my council, and that would get them out of that thing. Still can't fire you. For how long? For another <laughs> 17 years. Okay. This is, this is vicious. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. So I was also thinking, if I moved you on to chivalry, what's she currently give us? Yeah, so that would give us an extra couple of martial. Hmm. I think I'll move her on to chivalry right now. This means that although my martial is poor, I should get a few extra troops out of that. Okay. Is there anything I can do to make you like us, apart from putting you on the council? No. Although... Fired from council is going to go away in five years. That might work. You? Fired from council is going to go away in eight years. Yeah. The problem is they get fired when they get replaced by the uh, favor, which is really harmful. Anyway, we've survived this long, so I'm going to end the episode. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.